Hey guys, Tabs McCaffrey here from the Urban Goddess Shop. Welcome back. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to give you guys a tour of kind of like my office in here. I guess this is the room where I run basically the business out of. We're going to do a little bit of shipping. I have to print some of my custom stickers. And then I'm actually going to take you to Home Depot and show you a little bit more about my inventory. Most of my supplies are going to be linked down in the description and then I'm going to show you at Home Depot what I use. Okay, so let's get started. I'm so excited. I'm going to start with a tour. Yeah, this and I got a new camera. I got I, I got a new phone. I got an iPhone 12 Pro that I bought from a pawn shop. Oh my gosh, it was checked. It's not stolen. It's all good. But uh, I'm enjoying the camera on this. I'm hoping the audio is a little bit um let me just adjust this i'm hoping the audio is a little bit better than my canon rebel that i've been using and i'm just gonna let's just let all the sunlight in here ah lovely backyard okay so this is i'm gonna flip this around how do i oh gosh guys i don't know my other one i used to just like tap it my inventory that's like my kind of like a little mini death pile that was a pair of boots that were returned I still haven't taken out and stuff my lovely mannequin that I bought thinking I would use but she was just way too much work I only use her once in a while I also got a ring light because I thought maybe that that would give me better lighting and I like it like it has cold and warm settings I don't know I really like my box lights and I don't have a lot of luck using lighting to take photos so I tend to use mostly natural light here is, oh, there's the top. That's kind of where I store my extra boxes. Another bin of death pile bubble wrap that is kindly donated from the girls at work rather than throwing in the garbage. In here, these are my totes. This is my system. It starts down at one and currently goes up to 200. I actually have up to 250. I just haven't bought bins yet. So that's what we're gonna do today. I also have like sweater bins I usually organize them by colors so like all the purples and reds all the yellows you know what I mean and then my shoe pile so shoes one two three four there's no rhyme or reason they drive me nuts but I don't have room for like a shoe rack like most people do okay uh, we're gonna keep going that's where I put all the hangers that come from the closet they're kind of like my heavy duty hangers I have a box in them so when I bring an item up after it's been inventoried and it's ready to go then I will have them here for to grab my little office space, my laptop, that's my garbage. I recycle my Value Village bags. And, um, oops, I should, oh, can't do it with my toe. Oh, well, okay, I'll unplug that. My big poly mailers, these things are giants, like giants. I don't even know the dimensions, but um, I started using them instead of boxes because I was using a lot of boxes and it's sometimes hard to get good boxes and I was grabbing them from work. Anyways, my printer, my Rolo. Let's give Rolo a minute. Oh, favorite, favorite thermal printer. Some extra poly mailers and more sweaters, death pile stuff, tape. Okay. Here is some more storage. I hang blankets more because when I do my YouTube videos, it will like reduce the sound and the vibration. Ikea bags cause a lot of like micro vibration falling. And all the baskets, I wanted to do a basket montage or something, but I never actually put it up. And then this is the closet. This is like when I'm, when I say my closet is stuffed, it's like stuff. There's a little bit of room, but it's pretty full with things. So these are items that are too big to fold up and put into a bag. All right. So I am going to, how am I going to do this? I'm going to plop you. I'm going to put you guys right there. I'm going to start up the computer. So I make my own stickers. I customize them and uh, I'm going to maybe just slide this over here so I can kind of look at you guys while I'm doing this. I like creating my own and it kind of gives me a little bit of freedom. Avery Labels, I think you can buy them on Amazon. I'll actually add the ones that I use. I really like them. They're affordable and they look super cute on 
my shipments. All right, so I do have an account. Once you create your labels, you can kind of save all your labels that you make. I'm gonna sign in and then I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. Log in. All right, so I'm just loading it up right now. There we go. Looks great, exactly what I wanna do. If I look over to the far right, you can see this is my sheets. We're gonna print a couple of these, so. Let's just select this. I wanna to go to preview and print. Print all, get a PDF. Um, you do have to do paper, media type, labels, or cardstock. So I'm gonna hit print. And then on here, color, pages, all, go to more settings. This is a letter. Scale is custom, and I don't wanna print on both sides, but I'm going to make four copies. So we'll hit print. Here we go. Oh, yay. They're beautiful. Exactly how I like them. Um, I do like to make sure that they're nice and lined up, which they do look generally pretty good. And that is how I make custom labels to put on my packages. All right. So next I'm going to start pulling some items. First item I got to find are these naturalizer shoes. Yeah, this is the joy of like looking through my unorganized coat. There we go. Then we'll look at the next item. Next item is an Aritzia dress. 183. Oh, I bet you I haven't. Oh, good gosh, do you know where it is? Hold one of these, 183, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown. So what I do is, these are the plastic bags I use, they're Ziplocs, they sell them on Amazon. I usually buy them in a pack of 100 and then buy multiples. I might buy like four or 500. They work really well. I just use stickers, write my own numbers on them and recycle the inventory numbers. I think I should explain kind of my inventory system as well. So I have, I recycle numbers as I go through them. What that means is that I have a numbering system and it's like one to 250. When I inventory an item, I assign it to that. I put it in the bag, I stick it in my tote. When the item sells, I pull it and say it's like, like that dress, number 183. I'm gonna pull that out and then I'm gonna recycle that bag. So I have a little spot for that. I usually toss them down there on that bottom shelf. And then this way, when I go to photograph and list new items, I just grab those bags and I will recycle them. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's pretty simple. I find it works. I make way less mistakes than use, using like individu the individual inventory numbers. Yeah, I don't know. It, like it just works really simple. Really good for me. Okay, so next item. All right, so this next one is a bundle. Uh, it starts off with a pair of shoes. I'm looking for a pair of Aldo flats, I think. Okay, in here. Ah. See, I like this system doesn't work very good for shoes, but ah, it is what it is. It works for now. Next item is a green and black plaid jacket so I just kind of look in here I can see it right away ah just pull this out and next item 47 don't have the bins for 247 yet <sighs> which means that the item is somewhere in this Ikea bag because I just did these items and um, 247 here we go and yeah I just did those items so that's those are the bins I gotta go grab today okay so I'm gonna quickly pick up these items and then I will pop it back when I found everything and we'll go through just quickly how I package items up okay let's do this Oh my gosh, I'm giving you guys total like butt shots as I'm bending over. I'm so sorry. Okay, I got I'll do it differently.
So I have quite a pile of items right now, so I'm gonna start by bagging these ones up and I'm gonna show you how I go about this. I just downloaded all my shipping labels and I'm going to hit print. Voila. This runs like a dream. So this is the roller printer. I don't use the Rolo labels. I buy these ones off of Amazon and the link will be in the description if you need any extras. I love my roller printer. Definitely was the best investment I've ever made. Okay, time to get shipping. So I think this is gonna be the easiest way for you to kind of, for me to show you what I'm doing. So first item I'm gonna ship is this Aritzia Wilford dress. I'm just gonna pop it out of the bag. And then I usually like to just kind of fold it nice. I'm gonna grab one of my Ziplocs. These are the smaller size that I grab. You can see the link down below. I do carry two sizes and really it's gonna be whatever works for you. I will pop up the dimensions uh, that I use in the descriptions to you if you wanna order similar ones. I find these are perfect for smaller items like small shirts and blouses, things like that, bras that you can fold up really small. So what I like to do, Pop it in the bag, seal it up, take any air out. And I do believe in like sustainability, but I would hate for any of these to be damaged before arriving. The next thing I do is take one of my handy dandy stickers that I printed off. And they turned out perfect. Oh, I love them. They're so cute. And you can really make them however you want. And then I usually just seal it over like that. So you can see, sticker on, bag is sealed, and then I'm ready to pop it in here. Fits perfectly into the poly mailer. Uh, I will stick her address on after, so I'm not sharing it with everyone. And I also pick up these stickers off of Amazon. And they're just thank you stickers. So it says, thank you for supporting our small business. I like them, I feel like they're just a little touch. And when people receive these, I don't know, I, I kind of feel like that they will receive the item and give me a star rating at least because they understand that I'm running it as a small business. So I just pop that on the back to seal it. And then on the front, I would stick the shipping label, which I will place on right now. And this item is ready to go. Okay, I only have like 15 more packages to do. Time to get to work. <laughs> up the last one. Oh my gosh look at the chaos on me. I have to I need another tote. One more peek at the room and in the bag they go. Ready to go. I have all my parcels ready to drop off at the post office in Canada. We don't get or at least I don't qualify for postal pickups so I just have to uh, bring them myself and I'm also gonna go to Home Depot and show you guys my shelving and my totes. All right let's go. Let's find these shelves. Where the heck are they? Way down at the end, like the furthest corner. <laughs> okay, so these are the shelves that I buy. They're gray. Um, they are the heavy duty ones. So there's two, if you notice the, the black one, but the black ones are super flimsy. So I find when you kind of are sliding bins on and off, they're not very sturdy. I really enjoy these gray ones. And uh, these are the ones I grab. So 
HDX, they're 36 inches wide by 18 inches long, 72 inches high, five shell, heavy duty storage unit. The price is $55.47 Canadian. I'm not sure what the cost is down in the States, but I'm sure they're cheaper because everything is cheaper for you guys. <laughs> I really enjoy these shelves. I find they're sturdy enough for me to be sliding my totes on and off. And they're also, they like, I don't know, they just fit really well in my room. So the room that I'm using is about a 10 by 10 room. And I can fit four sets of those easily, probably five. So definitely compact, just the perfect size. Now let's go find the totes. Okay, and here are the totes. These are the ones I like the most. Uh, it looks like they are $9.97 today. They're a 49 liter clear flip-flop storage box. I rip off the red lids. They kind of fold over nicely, but I feel like once the tote is full and I have a lot of inventory in them, they actually end up like sitting like that all the time. So I just pop these right off and I can fit two on a shelf and I can fit eight in the shelves, but I'm sure you could put two more on the top if you wanted 10, but I find those a little bit high for me to grab. Anyways, I'll give you a close up of the label. So HDX 49 liter flip top tote. You can get these on sale. Usually I end up paying somewhere around 650 for them. I don't think I've ever paid full price, but I need a couple more. So I am paying full price today. All right, let's go pay for this and get going. That's it. I'm done. I've gone over some shipping, my inventory, what I use, where I buy it. I hope this helps you. If you enjoy this and you find value in this content, give me a thumbs up. Also, you can tap subscribe and hit the little bell so you get all the notifications and then you won't miss any of the postings. Okay, guys, I'm out of here. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.